welcome back. Time for another lesson. And if you've been following my Instagram, then you will have seen a little sneak preview of this little bad boy. It's the Seth Bacchus Shoreline T model. It's um, from any range of of um, guitars that Seth's bringing out in uh, in collaboration with another little team that he's putting together. But I'm not going to go into it too much because um, Seth and I are going to be doing some very cool things and you're going to get to see some very cool things. And I'm going to get to play some very cool things. This turned up the other day and um, it's blown me away. It's absolutely stunning. Seth's like one of the best luthiers out there. He um, reached out to me before Christmas, so I'm you know, incredibly humbled to even be asked, frankly. So, um, yeah, you're going to see a few more of these. So it's all very exciting stuff. Lots of stuff happening in Let's Play All HQ as well. There's some other cool stuff coming up that I can't quite share with you yet. But anyway, and by HQ, I mean me in this room, right? It's not like a big organisation. It's just me and a camera. So anyway, let's learn this thing. So let's talk tones. I'll be as quick as I can because there's a few to get through. First of all, this is um, tuned down two steps, at least the rhythm part. So Josh's part is in um, C tuning, okay, rather than E. Now, there's two ways you can do it, and I've tabbed both, right? So you could either get a drop pedal from Digitech and set that to number four, which is two steps below normal tuning, and this chord, click on the pedal, becomes that chord. I'm also using the PDF2 with these settings to get Josh's lovely growly tone. That's it in terms of Josh's stuff, right? A little bit of reverb as well. For Troy's part, I'm playing that in standard tuning, so I'm turning the, the drop pedal off, but I'm also adding the PDF1X. And I'm going to neck pickup. Now the neck pickup on this is a little bit special because it actually has both pickups in series, which give you a little bit of mid-range and a bit more oof. So with those two pedals stacked, you get just a nice lead tone, okay? And then you're gonna need some vibe or something that'll give you that vibe tone, right? I'm using the Jam Pedals Retro Vibe, which I think nails it, it sounds like this. Now there is some delay in certain parts of this as well, but you know, in, for the main part, there isn't. Uh, and that's it, those are the tones. So let's crack on with the main lesson. Now for Josh's rhythm part, I'm gonna show you in both tunings, right? So you, if you can't be asked to retune, then I'll show you how he plays it acoustically as well. So we've gonna, we're gonna cover all the bases, but to stay true to the original, he starts like this. <laughs> That's it, right? Now the this part, two bars of that. So that's really an intro and the riff really starts with. And round and round. Now it's three chords, super easy. Fourth fret power chord. So you do that for two bars, but then you're gonna go up to the E, right? You're just playing eighth notes throughout, then you go down to the fourth fret for one bar each, and then you do the fourth fret for two bars. But there is a little incidental part on the four and he does a little. He hit the seventh fret right as he goes to the as he goes to that. Um, power chord, he leaves his first finger overhanging on the low E, right? So, and then he does it again down here. So you're almost getting, and then going back into it is just straight. Okay, so slowly. Etc. Okay, 
So when I'm doing that, I'm then only hitting the A string, okay? I'm not continuing to do the uh, the low E. It's just a it's just a little passing thing that he does. So important to get that in there just to get get it how he plays it. Now standard tuning, same rules apply. So you're going to do it on the third fret this time. Open E. And you go to an, uh, basically an A chord, right? There's only one other riff that Josh plays, and that's the chorus riff. And he starts that on the seventh fret, but he's basically playing an E... E power chord in the A, but with the seventh fret on the E in the bass, okay? So you're going to play and then down to the uh, fourth fret, which is just a normal power chord, right? But he still does that when he goes back to the seventh fret, okay? Round. So that's straightforward as well. In standard tuning, you would just do third fret to fifth fret. Like that, okay? One other tiny little thing. There is, I think, an overdub. So when uh, Josh's part is playing... I think the other guitar is playing this. So include as much of that or as little of that as you wish. Let's crack on with Troy's parts. Intro riff's awesome. Goes like this. Two, three, four, one, two. <laughs> So it comes in on the two and, right? It's quite a quick tune. So there's one and two and three and four and. So you've got a, a beat and a half rest. Then you've got the 17th fret on the D and you're going to play this. Okay, so it's... Then you've got a grace note slide from the 17th to the 20th. And then back to the 17th fret, okay? And then you do one more. And you go down to the 12th fret. So slowly. And then that nice little lick at the end. Back up to the 17th again. So that's a half step bend on the 19th fret there. Then you go to the 22nd fret and bend that up. And you pluck it again. I think as the note actually is naturally sort of, you know, dwindling. You could also play it. You could bend on the 17th fret on the E if you want, if you don't have a 22nd fret. Um, then you leave it for three bars and then you do that again. Then a four bar rest and then you go into this. Pretty straightforward. Another four bar rest and then you're on the 17th fret on the G for this next one. Another four bar rest and then you're into the chorus. This is cool. I think this is actually played on separate guitars. So one guitar will be playing. And the other one's going to be playing. Lovely, isn't it? But you can play them both together. So 17th fret on the uh, D and B. 14, 15. 13, 12 on the G and B. And you play that round three times. Three. 
Then on the fourth time. <laughs> He goes to that, which I think is easier, but you hear that just comes in over the top. You could play. All right. 13, uh, 13, 12 and 16. But it's just an E chord, right? Then um, a rest for two bars and then it goes back into the next verse. And you've got this two, three, four. You know, two slides, up to you how you play that. And then 12th fret, same string. Slid down one fret and then down to the ninth. Four bars of rest and then you go back to this. And there's a backwards guitar part that's overdubbed over the top, right? And that goes... So you need to pre-bend the 15th fret a full step before you pluck it. And then you release it, okay? That's the 15th fret half a step on the next string down, right? And then... Those notes slid around, okay? Two bar rest and then coming in on the second beat, you've got a the 9th fret. Um, Pre-bend and then just you release it over basically two bars. So it's two, three, four, one. Now the next phrase is super simple, but you can add some delay like this. With that sort of repeat pattern, okay? And Troy plays this really simple line, but the delay actually sort of cascades into each other. So you get this. Lovely, isn't it? Very simple. Now for the chorus part, you still go back to that. But I think there's another overdub over the top of it, as well as that, I think. I don't think it replaces it, I think it's additional. And you go back to this part, you play it twice round. So you do that twice, and then you play this twice. 15, 17, 16. In fact, you do that three times, and then the fourth time you play. But you just bend that up a full step slowly. And then it stops. And so you've got the full thing. The rhythm part is playing. Cuts off there, right? Or so that is it. Hope you enjoyed that, and you will be seeing a lot more of this. You've got to check this out. Just look at the flame on the neck. Oh, ridiculous! See you soon. Bye bye.